because I'm doing this very natural look and the hair is Heron, hi. If you know me, you know that you need to always tap off the excess. Close my eye a little, but I still need to see the. I like to explain on this channel, we're not just running through, this is not a drive-through. This is the whole sermon. This is the whole lecture, okay? This is not the lab, okay? This is the entire class. What up, Wagwan? It's to say it's your girl Minadabia, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I normally do in terms of eyeliner. We're gonna do top, waterline, and lower lash line. So if you want to learn how to do that, then I want you to stick around and keep on watching. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe. If not now, do it at the end, but watch the whole video till the end, and then I'll link two other videos for you to catch as well. Also follow on Instagram and TikTok, because your girl is over there when she's not over here. So I've already done my face, and I am gonna take the lip because I know y'all be getting antsy when it comes to the lippies. So let me just say what it is. This is the Lip Bar Savage. And then I have on here this lipstick from L'Oreal Paris 178, Nude Intense. And then the gloss on top is this <laughs> Revolution. I'm laughing because the video, you know the video I did where this was magnet, magnetic, whatever. I like the color of it. So I have it on top of this. And this is Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss in the color Starlight, okay? The foundation I'm wearing today is the Morphe Filter Effect. It matches my skin tone very well, not the outer part of my face. So now I'm looking I'm like, it looks too light, but here we are. Oh, and this wig, because I know y'all gonna be, I know y'all gonna, gonna ask. This is my go-to, it's been curled, the curls fell, this is, Straight, I think this is my straight wig, I don't know. I'll link it below, it's a four by four. I just gel the hair back and then we do that. Okay, so now we are gonna get into it. Thank you for your patience. I'm not gonna do a winged liner because I can't lie to you. It has been a very long time since I've done a wing liner. I used to always do wing liner. There was a point in time in life where wing liners were all the rave. I have surpassed that. I don't feel like dealing with a wing liner all the time and I don't like the way it looks on me. I like a softer, blown out, liner, okay? So what I do on a daily basis when I do makeup, because I do wear liner, the face just looks different and looks better with liner when you really pronounce your eyes. Like look right now, right? If I finished my face and this was the makeup look, to me, it would look like something is missing. And a few things are missing, liner, mascara, and lashes, okay? So the kind of liner that I'm going to do is a smoked out-ish type liner. I'm giving it that name. To me, this is an easy way to do liner if you don't know where to begin. I would like to think that this is a lot easier than a winged liner. A winged liner requires a lot of precision and it can take time if you get it wrong. We're gonna go an easy route. So I'm going to use this flat brush from MAC. Any flat brush you have is fine. Flat in this sense, okay? So you can easily create a line. I'll link this one below and I'll link a dupe as below as well if you wanna save some money and still get the same effect, okay? I've had this brush since I worked at MAC as freelancer. This is mad old, mad old. Okay, and then any black eyeliner works. Honestly, what I have in front of me is this palette from Maven Beauty Fashion Nova. Any black eyeshadow works. It doesn't have to be this one. Just get a, an eyeshadow palette that has a black in it, a deep black, not a gray, although I can't lie. If you've been here before, then you have seen. I'm explaining a lot. This is important. If you're new here, this is what I do. I like to explain. If you have been here, then you know that there are times where I might do a smoky brown liner or a smoky purple liner or a smoky blue liner, okay? Either way, it's the same technique, just a different color. So then we're gonna do black because I'm doing this very natural look and the hair is Heron, hi. I'm gonna take the product on my brush and really I could go with the dark purple or I could do the black, but taking the product, if you know me, you know that you need to always tap off the excess, okay? So doing that in front of me, there is a paper towel in front of me as well. Very important to always tap off the excess. Now I'm gonna put a mirror very close to my eye and I'm gonna look down because it's important to ensure that since the face is done, we're not going to get product onto our cheeks. We don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna look down close my eye a little, but I still need to see the. And I like to start toward the latter part of my eye, okay? I'm pressing it into my eye, pressing the product and making my way across, as you can see. Getting more product, tapping off the excess, and we're going to do the same. Stay very close to your lash line. You do have to look at what you're doing, right? You need to make sure you get it in the right spot. And then we're going in toward the tear duct. Now, when I go into the inner part of the eye, I'm trying to ensure that the line is not too thick. That's just how I prefer my eyeliner to be. So I, I'm holding the brush in a way where it's gonna go on in a thin manner. But honestly, when you're doing a smoked out lash line, just put it on, just get it there because it's just gonna look nice anyway. And again, you can do this with any dark color to really emphasize the eye and make it look really pretty. And so as I'm placing it, you can 
can see that it's giving a very smudged effect. And that is what I want. Gone are the days for me in my makeup routine where I want to have a harsh line for eyeliner. It's just not what I do anymore. And this I do usually very fast. Like I can do this quickly and be done. And with the lashes, they're so thick and fluffy. It just doesn't matter, you know? So always tapping off the excess and really and truly, Barring a few wiggles, this is actually pretty good. But I took some more product because I wanna show you that depending on how dark your, your color is, if it's a dark purple, a dark blue, a dark green, a black, you may want to amplify the color up to make it more intense. So take some more, always tap off the excess, and then we're gonna press right on top of what we've done. So now, if you can see this well, the black is a little bit darker, okay? Now I stopped right at where the end of my eye is. Is. And sometimes I will stop right here and call it a night, but I can't lie. Many times I do want to smudge that out. So what I will do is taking the brush at an angle, I'm going to create, and I know I said I wasn't going to do a wing, but I'm showing you a few versions. Sometimes I do wing my smoked out liner. It's different because this is not a perfect sharp edge like a knife. This is a smoked out wing, okay? So I already have product on here, already tapped off the excess. Now we're at the end and sometimes I will just take it and I'm lightly fanning it. I'm not pressing too hard because again, the point is I want this to be soft and just smoked out. I don't want it to be harsh. That's not what I want, right? So fanning it out and really and truly, I just created a soft smoked out eyeliner, okay? Now you can make this as dark or as light as you want it to. And you really could like diffuse it if it just looks crazy. Or like I said, just like I'm gonna diffuse it because it kind of looks a little bit weird. Or you really could just leave it. Again, with your mascara and or your lashes, it's really gonna just all blend and be just fine. There are times where I want the end part of my eye to be a little bit thicker. So then what I'll do, again, this is like step four of this. You could have stopped three steps ago if you wanted, but we're gonna build this up just for illustrative purposes. Then I might take more product and just stamp it right here in the corner to make this outer part even thicker. So now what I've done, as you can see, is I've made the outer part thicker, which makes the eye look a little bit different. To me, it just makes it more like an almond, and I think it's really sexy. So depending on how you want your eye to look, you might stop right at the end of the eye. But when you do it this way, you lift the eye up in this fashion, and I think it looks really great. Because when you're putting on your concealer, hopefully if you're doing it correctly, you're putting it on in an elevated fashion. So like a Nike check mark, it's going up toward the side of your face. Then when you do your eyeliner, if you're going in that same direction, you're also helping the face to look lifted. Okay, so there are times where I do this too. And like I said, I do this so fast because I do this all the time. And really you could drag this out more, but I normally don't want all that. I normally just wanna, you know? And if you have on a crease color, so today I just used my face powder on my eyes, which is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Powder Foundation. The one on my face is Rich 610C. I put that color on my eyelid as an eyeshadow, okay? That's a quick way to just do a face that doesn't require too much stuff. And so for that reason, there is no crease color. So normally the crease color is a little bit darker to create a contour on the eyeball, on the eye. There's no contour on this eye today, but if there was a contour on this eye, when you apply the eyeliner in this fashion and bring it up, you could be bringing it into your crease, which can sometimes be really pretty too. So it's like the crease color goes down here, then the eyeliner meets the crease color. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you've seen some looks where folks have done that and it can look so, so pretty. So this is really soft. Now I'm just doing the most, but let's just stop right there, okay? And I think that that looks really, really pretty. Comment below if thus far you've learned a lot. Again, I like to explain on this channel, we're not just running through, this is not a drive-through. This is the whole sermon. This is the whole lecture, okay? This is not the lab, okay? This is the entire class. All right, so now on this side, this is sometimes the problem is trying to get both of these to look the same. Again, I wear 5D fluffy, amazing lashes. So my eyeliner doesn't always match and I really am okay with that. I am secure enough in myself that I don't care, but let's do our best to try to get this right. I like to, again, start toward the outer part of my eye. Let's go in and then we'll do the wing. Although sometimes I will just do the wing and then 
come back in, whatever. Always tap off your excess. You can build up the pigment to your desired level, but see how as I get toward the inside, I don't want there to be too much color because I want it to be more thin, but always tap off the excess and work slowly. Now I'm holding the brush more at an angle. You really could put your head down more, but I want you to see what I'm doing so I can't look down too much. But when you do this, if you do your makeup the way I do, which is face and then eyes, granted, when I first started doing makeup over 12 years ago, I always did eyes first, but then I followed Renny Vasquez and he did face first and I was like, I need to be professional. I need to do what he's doing and I changed it and I haven't looked back. I like it this way. So I'm just adding more to make this line thick. You really could make this line as thin or as thick as you'd like, depending on how you're holding your brush. So if you're stamping it on this way, you're going to get a line that is the same width as your brush. If you hold your brush at an angle, you could make your line a lot thinner than your brush if you just take your time and do it right. You gotta take your time, baby. If you wanna brush, you might get a real smoked out liner. And honestly, it could be a vibe. It doesn't have to be ugly. I mean, you're doing this to your satisfaction, okay? Now, here we are toward the end and we're gonna softly, we're not pressing too hard right now because we are feathering this out. We were pressing before, we are not pressing too much right now. And let's see if they are both the same. They're not right now, adding some some more to the top to make this thicker and honestly do the best you can. There are times where my eyelash is hanging off. There are times where my eyeliner is not equal. It's just life, right? What in the world? Do the best you can, okay? And keep on practicing, don't give up. So this side ain't, this side is looking more pointy and this side is looking more smoky. I think they both look great. Comment and let me know. Now, let me tell you one thing. This is black, obvi, but it's not the blackest black in the whole world. I still like it, but depending on your black eyeshadow color, right? That'll determine how it looks. You could do a really dark brown. I like to really have fun with my liners. And I also do smudge liners with the crayon, you know, like, right? Like this is a brown, this is a brown liner from Revlon. Revlon, so fierce, vinyl. I, I like the vinyl eyeliners because they're they're shiny. They have, they're vinyl, they're so nice. I love how shiny they are. So for instance, this I could put on my top line and smoke it out too. It just looks so good. But I wanted you to really see this. I wanted it to be really pronounced. So I'm using black. So so taking some more and I'm going here, but honestly, I'm about to just leave this alone because otherwise we gonna just be doing too much, okay? So that is that. And now what I like to do is bottom eyeliner because this by itself, although it's nice, there's still something missing in my opinion. The bottom is way too naked for me. So I like to do two different steps for the bottom eyeliner. So the first step is the, what I just told you I love, the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. I just sharpened mine. It's almost done. I love these so much because they're shiny. You might use an eyeliner that is more matte. I don't like a matte eyeliner in my waterline. I like it to be shiny, it just looks good. So let me show you what I like to do. And I started doing this a while ago and I did a video, a few videos on it on IG and it was like went viral, but I like to take the back of my tweezers. I wipe it clean because who wants to put anything under their eye and mess up the makeup? So wipe it clean first. And then we're going to isolate the eye, the inner eye, isolating that. And then I like to glide the product along along the waterline. This is one way to do your eyeliner. It's a very simple way. It's a very sharp way to apply the eyeliner. And if you can see, the eyeliner looks shiny. I like that. If you don't like that, then you might prefer finding a different eyeliner that goes on more matte. I like the shiny look. I think it looks sexy. It looks good. I don't like for the top eyeliner to be shiny. I like that to be matte but the waterline, oh, chef's kiss. So this is one way to do your eyeliner, right? And I'm gonna actually do it on this side, but I'm gonna smudge out this side and show you a difference. Now, as you can see, when I'm applying the eyeliner, take your time because if your intention is to give yourself a thin eyeliner, then the last thing you wanna do is be applying it in a very fast fashion. Because when you do that, you're going to get the eyeliner onto your skin and then your eyeliner is going to be thicker than perhaps what you wanted in the first place. I like my eyeliner to be thicker and I'm gonna show you how I like to do it, but this is one way to do it if you wanted your eyeliner to be thin like this. So there are two ways that I make this thick, okay? One of the ways is I first do my waterline and then I'm actually now going to be rubbing this eyeliner onto my skin just beneath my waterline. So this is what I was saying before, where if you're not careful, it could look like you've made a mess, but not really because you've now created what could be a smudged eyeliner effect, right? You could leave it just like this 
on this side of my face and then put your mascara on and go. But I just wiped off my brush, the flat brush from before, and now I'm gonna smudge this out. Now be very careful, use small sections when you're smudging because for instance, this liner is really gonna travel. So it could look real messy, real fast if you just do this like that. Take your time, go section by section. And now the brush is at an angle. It's not straight on, it's at an angle and we are smudging out this eyeliner section by section. Now, if you really wanna be dramatic, you could smudge this and connect to the top liner, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't always want to do that. All right, cleaning off my brush right now, and then if necessary, you could smudge some more, but to me, I think that this looks good. Now, what I do sometimes when I really want the bottom to be smoked out, depending on the eye look, whatever, is I'll take maybe the crease color from the eyeshadow and I will put it on the bottom and I will smudge that so that it's now a really darker version of my crease color. That's really complex, really advanced, not necessary for this video, but I just wanna to explain to you how sometimes this bottom is not just black. It could be a brown black or a purple black or a you know reddish black, green black, whatever, okay? So you can stop right here. I did clean off my brush because right now my intention is to smudge and not to apply anymore. And I'm just squinting my eyes to further isolate out that bottom product. Now we have not highlighted the inner eye, which I'm, you know I'm gonna do. We're just doing eyeliner right now, okay? So I want you to comment below and let me know which side you prefer thus far. Do you prefer the smoky bottom eyeliner side or do you prefer the thin, simple bottom eyeliner side? I really, really can do both depending on the situation and how I'm feeling. I used to always do this where it was just very sleek because when you put mascara on, when it's just like this, it really allows for the mascara to have its shine. When you put mascara on and it's smoked out, it's more of a smoky look, so the mascara isn't gonna stand out as much. And you know my favorite mascara is Lawless One and Done. So imagine that on this eye. Oh my gosh, you would have the spider lashes. It would look so, so cute. Another thing you can do too is make this thinner and then do your lashes and then your lashes and it, it really will allow the lash to shine whether it's mascara and or lashes, it'll really shine. But lots of different ways that you can make this work, okay? Now, sometimes what I'll do, like, like I said, I can smoke it out more using more black or brown or what have you, but we're gonna just go like this because I think that this smoky version does look really, really good. Now, because I wanna finish my face and I have other videos to film, I'm going to even this out. I'm not gonna walk around like this, okay? We're not gonna waste the face. So let's even this other side out. All right, and here's the finished look. I hope that this video was helpful for you. As you can see, I applied lashes and mascara to my face, and this is what it all ends up looking like when it's all said and done. However, if you wanted, you could just do the mascara and skip the lashes. But if you wanna see how I apply lashes, then you've gotta watch my other video that I recorded where I just showed you how to put on lashes, and you can see how I did this one. So I hope this helped. I want you to subscribe and stick around and watch one of two videos that I'm gonna leave for you right here, so don't go too far. And as always, I'm glad that you watch my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.